This is a Permobil M3. This is a mid-wheel drive chair. Uh, like I said, made by Permobil, which is a Swedish-based company. No other brand that's better than Permobil on the market. So um, this being a mid-wheel drive chair, what that means is your big drive tire, your 14-inch solid drive tires directly in the middle of the chair, and then you have about 7.5, 8-inch caster wheels front and back. Being a mid-wheel drive chair, it's going to turn in the smallest turning radius out of the different designs of power chairs. Um, Permobil does make a front wheel drive and a mid wheel drive. Mid wheel is best for inside or outside on paved surfaces. Front wheel drive can still be used inside, but it is a lot better on non paved surfaces for outside. So, this is a mid wheel drive chair. Um, this particular unit has, I believe, is 20, let me double check here, it's either 21 or 28 miles of total drive distance. It's 21 miles of total drive distance on the unit here. Uh, this is their purple color. The color is, uh, we can change it for about $200 to almost any of the colors that Permobil offers. Um, so if you don't like the color, just let us know. We can uh, fit this to you. This unit comes uh, with all four functions. It's got a 12 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric recline, and electric legs. And I'll show you what those functions are and what they do. So the first function is going to be your 12 inch vertical seat lift. Um, that's going to get top of the seat uh, depending on what size cushion you put on there. You're going to be 21 to 22 inches depending on how thick your cushion is, top of the seat to the ground. When you raise out 12 inches, you're going to be roughly about 34 inches top of the seat to the ground. So, um, like I said, that's adjustable a little bit depending on if you put a 3 or a 4 inch cushion on here or a 2 inch cushion, that might adjust some. I'm basing those numbers based off a 3 to 4 inch cushion that's on the unit. So this is what the unit looks like when it's in the upright elevated position. Um, now the unit still does drive, it's just going to drive at a little bit of reduced speed and I will check that speed when we go outside and do the outside demonstration of what you can get to full speed while elevated. So what makes this thing nice is you can imagine I'm a six foot tall individual so you can see I'm almost eye level with somebody that would be six foot tall if I was sitting in this unit. Um, Having the height elevation helps you reach things, so it makes it more accessible. Sometimes it helps people get out of the chair because they can stand up, they can kind of lock, pivot, lock their legs, and then they can pivot out of the chair. Um, when you do transfers into a vehicle or into a bed or different things with a slide board, um, it is nice to have that ability to have a different height adjustment. Um, and then the last thing I think that makes it great too is um, if you're crossing any roads or you're driving it outside, it makes you a lot more visible when you're up high in the air than when you're all the way down low. So that's pretty much what the seat lift is going to be used for. <clears throat> now the next feature that I'm going to show you is going to be electric tilt. And electric tilt is going to be probably the most medically necessary feature on a chair for somebody. Um, tilt is going to be as if you were sitting in a stationary chair and somebody came and pulled you backwards. Um, it's going to be that feeling that you're going to tip over backwards, but you're not. Uh, and what it's actually going to do is going to create blood flow to um, your lower half. So you'll see here it's going to begin to tilt back. Gravity is going to then take your weight off of your lower half and start applying it to your back, which is going to create circulation throughout your legs. So if you struggle with pressure sores um, or you just need to get your, uh, your feet above your heart, this is another function that you can use well here. So you can actually use this tilt function in tandem with the electric legs. So if you really need to get your feet way above your heart, you can get this foot plate way up there. Now without any weight on it, this foot plate will retract back in. Um, but it would stay up and out at this position, you know, if your feet were on there. Without any weight, it will come back down. Um, on this ICS box is what I'm controlling everything with right here. It's called an ICS box. You can control everything with the joystick, but if you have one of these boxes on your chair, it does make it a lot easier to navigate to the functions. Now, you have buttons on here. Your buttons are going to be either green, yellow, or red. Green means you're in a safe driving position. You can go full speed. Yellow means you're going to be at an elevated position or you're going to be at a different position that's going to be a reduced speed. And when you get to red, it's going to say you're in a non-safe driving position and the chair will not move. So if you see your buttons red and you wonder why your chair doesn't move, get back to an upright seated position and then you'll be able to drive the unit. So the next feature I'm going to show you, I already showed you the electric legs that come up and, uh, up and down. And then I'm going to show you the recline. So if you want to lay back, this chair can go back to 180 degree uh, recline, which is basically flat. If your chair does not do that, it is programmable for all permobiles to get to 180 degree lay flat. This is really for if you needed to transfer uh, or if you need to sleep in the chair. Um, this is what the full recline would look like at 180 degrees. Very comfortable chair. Permobil is one of the most dependable chairs on the market as well. Um, there's so many different things that you can do to this chair. Um, 
Now we can adjust the color and we can also adjust the seat size. Um, we can add many different functions to it, or not functions, add-ons to it, such as lateral guards, attendant controls, trays, um, light kits. There's so many different things that we can do with these units. So if there's something that's on this that you don't, that you don't see that you want, let us know because we can fully adapt anything to your needs. This unit should get about six and a half miles an hour top end speed. Nice feature about permobiles is it does come with an adjustable Allen wrench in the back that you can adjust all your headrest positions, the width of your armrests, I mean your, your foot plate height, a lot of things are adjusted with this single Allen wrench that is built in right into the back of the unit. This particular unit here has two motors on the unit, one on each side. I'm going to turn this unit around here, um, bring it to the front so that you can see it. So up here in the front of the chair, you have a motor on either side. This front cap, if you actually push this inwards, that's going to disengage this motor on this side. Um, now with your chair on, it's going to create a little more resistance. With your chair off, you will be able to freely push this chair around. Now you do want to make sure that you put it back in gear. What that's doing is that's engaging your electromagnetic brake on the unit and then your chair will not operate unless it senses that brake. So you do want that brake because that's what stops you when you let go of the little toggle. It's going to stop automatically no matter if you're uphill or downhill. This unit comes with a swing away joystick so that you can pull up to a table or if you need help getting out of the chair and you don't want to make sure you don't break your joystick, you can swing it to the side and push off on the armrest. Both armrests do flip up. And like I said, this unit sits on a metal pan, this cushion. So you can put any cushion that you want on here. Right now, this current configuration is about 19 inches by about 17 inches deep, but we can go anywhere from 17 inches wide to 23 inches wide, anywhere from about 15 inches deep to 22 inches in depth. So, um, you know, really the width, the depth, the backrest, the height of it, all of this we customize to your size before we ship it. So if it's something you're interested in, we would send you a measuring chart and we would fit it to your size at no extra charge. Now the only extra charge might be is if you want a different type of cushion, you can put air cushions, gel cushions, Rojo cushions, which is an air type cushion on this unit. Um, so it's fully customizable for whatever you might need on this chair. So if it's not the color or the exact size you want, let us know. We will adjust that for you. Foot plates do flip up on both sides for easy access to get in and out of the unit. And this unit actually has built-in tie-down points, two in the front and two in the back for any type of transportation that you might need on this unit. This unit does take 60 amp batteries. It does have a 300 pound weight capacity. It's going to get about 15 miles on a full charge. Um, and then now we're going to go outside and we're going to show you a little demonstration of how this performs. This is the Permobil M3. This is the version 2 um, by Permobil. Uh, Mid-wheel drive chair, so you'll see the turning radius on this unit is super tight. So it's about 42, 43 inches, maybe 44 inches in total length from the tip of the foot plate to the back, but you can see it turns in its own length. So the unit's got the swing away joystick. I mean, it's got fantastic suspension, solid tires, front, rear, and drive tires. Um, this will go through the grass with no problem, which I'll show you. And then I'm going to bring it back over here. I'm going to elevate the seat, and then we'll see what we get top speed when it's elevated and then also when it's down. So I'm going to go ahead over here now, top speed, and go in the grass and see. This unit has zero problem. It's got plenty of power. Now remember, it's 300 pound capacity. It's not made to go in sand or in dirt, but if you have hard top surfaces, baseball fields, things like that, it's not going to be a problem at all for you to navigate on those types of terrains. So this is the mid-wheel drive version, a front-wheel drive version, which I'll show you another video here in a second, is actually going to perform even better on these surfaces, uh, but this will still work on a hard compact surface. So let me get full speed here and see what we get, top end speed. For me, I'm getting 6.3, they say up to 6.5 miles per hour. Um, would be your maximum speed that you would get on perfect conditions. Uh, let me elevate the seat here 12 inches and we'll see then what kind of speed we get when it's elevated at 12 inches. Like I said in the video earlier, your ICS box will switch to yellow when you are elevated and then we'll see what this tops out at a reduced speed here. So now that I'm in all the way in the elevated position here, about almost 34 inches top of the seat to the ground, we will see then what we're going to tap out at a top end speed. Top end speed is looking like 3.3 to 3.5 miles per hour is what you're going to get on top end speed. Which you can see it's plenty stable. Even me, 200 pound, 220 pounds, six foot tall, driving it around. I mean, you can. It, it's fantastic unit. I mean, there's nothing else that's better on the market than permobiles. So if you have any questions or any concerns, give us a call.
Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.